Hi, welcome to Next Part Multiseller. Today, we're gonna to walk you through some simple steps on how to get your account set up, and hopefully we can make your dashboard look a little bit more like mine on the screen, where you can see my sellers organized in the dashboard. The first thing to take note of is where you can do your shopping when your sellers are connected. The best place to do shopping is up on the Stock Check tab or the Multi-Seller Catalog tab, as well as starting here on the Smart Search bar if you so choose. Either one of these options will be able to get you into some parts, part results. But before we do, we do that, we have to show you how to connect some accounts and make your dashboard look a little bit more filled out like this one on the screen. There's a few different places where you can go and add accounts. Let's walk through those now. One of the easiest ways to set accounts up is if you have an account on NextPart that matches your email address that, that you used on Multiseller, we will display them here on the Pending Sellers section. And as you can see, this one is matched based on the email address. Once I input the correct credentials for this matched account, I should be able to connect it to the My Sellers section. As you can see here, it was successfully verified and added here to my dashboard. Another popular way to add accounts to the My Sellers section is if you already know what your credentials are, but don't see it matched here based on email address, that's okay because you can come up here and click on the Connect Sellers button and enter your verified valid credentials. Once you do so, they will easily be added to your My Sellers dashboard, just like you can see here on my screen. Let's talk through a couple dashboard tips. The first one being, if you ever wanted to change the account nickname for any of your connected sellers, just click the edit pencil, type in whatever text you may want, and then click the save icon. If you ever want to not shop in the multi-seller experience and punch out directly to any one of these sites, just click on the username in the launch user column to, in order to shop directly with that seller and they will open in a new tab just like you see here. Any seller that you want to show on the multi-seller catalog or the stock check needs to be enabled on the dashboard seeing the green toggle switch just like you see here. Another important feature on the dashboard is the ability to sort all of your sellers. Sorting your sellers is important because this is the sort order that we try to display the parts in on your stock check and catalog experience. The multi-seller catalog can be accessed from the top of the screen using the tab, or you can easily use the smart search bar in order to find what you're looking for and perform a catalog search that way. As you can see here, I searched for an air filter for a Ford F-150. Once the results display on the screen, you can easily scroll and do your shopping on the catalog. You can also use the nav menu located on the left-hand side. Adding parts is a breeze over on the right-hand side where you can click the Add to Cart button. Once the items are added to the cart, you can easily view the cart by clicking on the icon in the top right-hand side part of the window. The Stock Check tab is located at the top menu in Multiseller. Click on it in order to find your multi-seller part search as well as your single seller part search. Single seller part search will take you into experience just like what you see in Next Part today with a standard stock check. The multi-seller part search, however, will allow you to do a stock check on a specific part number and be able to cross-reference it against all of your seller's business systems. Go through the steps of applying the correct part type and we will display all the sellers that have that part type available. As you can see here for this filter specifically, I can do shopping with a few different sellers and add them to my cart. If you're looking to find additional sellers that you could add to your multi-seller experience, you can easily locate the Find a Seller tool on the dashboard right here, or even on the Find a Seller tab up at the top menu. Once you perform a search, you'll be able to see the sellers located in your area, as well as the sellers that you've already connected on the Find a Seller tool. Once you find the seller that you're looking for, simply click the plus button and you can easily verify via the credentials you already know for that account, or if you don't have an account, you can easily request one by clicking the button here 
and filling out the information. Now, once that account is pending, it will be waiting approval by the seller and you will see it here on your pending seller section on the dashboard. Once the account is approved by the seller, you will get an email notification notifying you of the change and the seller will appear in your My Sellers Connected section. If you ever needed to reach out to the seller, feel free to click on the Contact Seller button here on any one of your accounts on your dashboard. Some final tips on multi-seller. If you have users in your shop that you'd like to set up with this same experience, feel free to come down here on the bottom of the dashboard and click on the Add User button in order to add other employees from your shop. A couple other tools to make note of is on the top menu where you see My Account, you'll have an area where it says Saved Orders. Now these saved orders can be multi-seller saved orders as well as your next part saved orders. All of them will be consolidated here on your multi-seller experience. Another great thing that's consolidated for you is your order history. Go to the My Order section under My Account to see all of your orders for each one of your sellers. Thank you for taking the time to sign up for Multiseller and watch this video. Multiseller is available across all platforms and all browsers. Please contact WHI support with any questions you may have.